Hello and welcome back to Ships and Giggles, another episode of the Phoenix. Not so good last time, can I do any better? I realised uh, it's not the St. Louis and it shouldn't be played like the St. Louis. And I should remember all the lessons that I've previously learned about situational awareness, etc, uh, etc. Et so without further ado, uh, let's begin with the... Usual look around and see where I'm going to go. Okay, first enemy sighted and we have a, an Omaha, there is actually a Congo to the right uh, as well. It's worth noting this is a tier 6 match, so uh, the other ships are going to have a lot longer range than I will. Oh, some of them at least anyway, but uh, I think we'll just concentrate on this Omaha for the time being. I don't think I'll be d doing much to a Congo, so uh, let's loose on this uh, Omaha. Just checking around, remembering that uh, I need to get out of binocular mode every now and again. And I've also remembered that I'm firing AP, so it seems like those lessons, it's back to normal again. Rather than the uh, cock up that was the <laughs> last match. Anyway, not hit anything yet. Oh well, a few hits. And there we go, another hit. And uh, he's going down very quickly. Just. Uh, sure not to get too close to uh, those other ships and uh, get their attention because I wouldn't last long if I did. Okay, so I just spent some time there taking pot shots at, uh, at these ships to the west without getting too close to them and trying not to attract their attention. Um, really trying to use the Phoenix as I think it should be used, which is a, like a, a fast little uh, light cruiser staying at the edge of my uh, gunnery range while uh, taking pot shots. Uh, I believe, it, well, it has got quite a decent uh, range on the guns. I think it's about 11 and a half. So that's what I'm actually doing at the minute and uh, seeing how it go. Whereas with the St. Louis, I'd get a lot closer and try and broadside them. Um, I'm also uh, looking at going front on to ships as well, because obviously if I'm side on to something, it's a lot easier to slam shells into me because I'm a far bigger target. Um, whereas particularly with higher tier ships that could... Uh, knock half my health off with one broadside if I go front on and start sailing directly toward them or directly away then I present a lot more difficult target again as well if I adjust my speed then the shell drop is going to be different um, preferably front on because this thing's got four guns pointing forward where it's not got uh, that many pointing back but uh, that's a tactic that uh, I'm going to try out at some point as well. So we're just going to move it on a little bit and get it to a bit more action. here as he was uh, letting some torpedoes loose at that battleship 
So I'm just going to head over and see if I can at least spot him for that battleship, if not uh, sink him myself. Um, I can't remember what uh, type of destroyer it was, but I definitely know there's a destroyer over here. So rather than uh, leaving that battleship on his own, I'm going to head over and see what I can do. Okay, there's a little bugger, a Mitsuki, if I pronounce that correctly. I've not run into one of those before, or hit one of those before to my knowledge. So uh, he's playing hide and seek with us as uh, normal, so let's see what we can do. Lots of fire from everybody going in. Um, looks like that battleship probably didn't need me to spot him, seeing as he's heading straight for him anyway. Um, but uh, I'm going to uh, sail straight for him, see what we can do. Ooh, and he looks as though he might be colliding with an island. Unless there's a gap between uh, there. No. Yes, no. Oh, there must be. There must be some uh, land, uh, uh, waterway behind there. I've lost sight of him now anyway. I have, however, remembered to swap back to HE before I engaged him. Uh, so, again, lessons learned. Here's here, here he is again. Let's see if we can uh, lead him a little bit get some shots over that land. No, no, I'm still getting used to uh, leading with destroyers. Uh, you know, obviously you have to lead a long way. Ooh, and there's some nice hits. I don't think he's going to last too much longer. Oh, he's still, he's still there. Oh, I think he's actually uh, gone. He's disappeared from the... Uh, the team uh, markers at the top. There's no destroyer left, so... Um, I think he's actually gone now. Onward! And straight into the waiting arms of a Cleveland. Now I've heard about these buggers before. Um, they've got a lot of guns, as I've just seen, and they fire quickly, as I'm just seeing. Now, this guy's probably going to just continue to hammer away at me, because looking at the scores at the top, there's only two of them left, and he's probably going to want to sink something before he dies. Now, as I said earlier, rather than sailing broadside onto him, uh, I've turned front on and I'm adjusting my speed slightly as well because uh, it should make it more difficult for him to uh, hit me. However, there's only two ships left. To be honest with you, I'm going to just go for it and see how much damage I can do to him and whether he, I can get him before he gets me. Um, because otherwise I just have to run and he's probably going to kill me before I uh, get out of there anyway. So. Um, Although, I probably should be firing armor piercing at him. Uh, I am actually firing uh, high explosive, but I was too involved in uh, trying to actually hit him and trying to, trying to uh, sink him before he sink me, sink, sinks me. Um, I was hoping to close, maybe within torpedo range, but it's going to be over well before that happens. Uh, so we'll just have to see. I've got some help, as you can see. There's lots of shots coming into him, so... And there he goes, but I'm on fire and I haven't got repair, so <laughs> there I go. But uh, fair swap, Cleveland for a Phoenix. And as we're just watching uh, the Valiant Phoenix burn, uh, I think the uh, the match won't be too long till it's over. I'm not sure whether I'll have to forward it or not to this second. Let's just give it a minute. Oh no, there we go. Uh, the match is over. It's a victory, no surprises there. I did quite well, for me at least, and uh, I enjoyed it, so good match. My videos over the next uh, two or three weeks will be more sporadic though. I'll try and get a video out when I can. It won't be three Wednesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday though, because I've got some uh, last minute work coming in over the next three weeks, and um, 
it'll take me away from doing the videos. However, after that, I will be back to normal. Thank you for watching, and uh, and see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.